Hey, see the gang's all here. What's up, Hank? What's going on? Well, the hammer just fell on yours truly. What are you talking about? She's that guy right there talking to Sheridan and Julian. It's FBI. Yeah, Fed. Yeah. Came here to deputize me. Railroad me is more like it. I'm supposed to guard Sheridan 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I thought you were supposed to stay away from her. Well, you think I asked for this? No, I just... I tried to get out of it. The heavy hitters in D.C. want something done. Well, how does Sheridan feel about this? <laughs> She's not thrilled. Anything but she and Julian are actually trying to get the FBI to take me off the assignment. Well, uh, no offense, amigo, but uh, I hope she gets what she wants. I'm ready to make major moves on her, and if you start hanging out together again, you might decide that you should have never stopped dating her. Oh, come on, Hank. You get real. It's never gonna happen. What I'm asking here is, are you sure you're through with Sheridan? There's nothing between us anymore. It's over. Is that plain enough for you? Yeah. Then like, can we talk about something else? I, I just can't help but thinking that if you two are together... Hank, it's a job. Okay, it's just... I'll do it, and I'll do it well. And when it's over, I won't even remember who I was guarding. Okay. Sharon and Crane have no effect on me whatsoever. I'm gonna go home and pack a bag. I'll, uh, see you at the cottage. I can't wait. Let's go, Hank. I'll see you later. Louise, uh, before you go, there's something we should discuss. Yeah, I don't think so. No, I, you and, uh, Sheridan agreed to certain ground rules. Well, the Cranes have some rules you'll need to follow also. I want to make sure you understand exactly what they are so no one will get hurt. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Are you threatening me? Oh, <laughs> whatever gave you that You idea? hinting around about somebody getting hurt. Uh, the Cranes don't deal in hints, Louise. You misunderstood. I don't think so. Now, what I was talking about was emotional pain. I'm very concerned about my sister's psyche. It's very fragile. She's had her heart broken so many times, and if it were to happen again... You know, your sister's a lot tougher than you're making her out to be. I know from experience. I just hope that you're not using this bodyguard business as a means to weasel your way back into a heart again. You don't have to worry about that, Julian. Now, this is just a job to me. Strictly business, that's all. Sheridan's life is in danger, and I'm going to protect it. End of story. Dave, he's going to marry me. What are you talking about? Who's going to marry you? Who kissed you? Um, and who are you going to marry? It's, it's a crush, Reese. It, I, was, I was just I was daydreaming. You know what, Teresa? It's time that you started getting over these crushes. Nothing ever comes of them. Like that crush you had on Ethan Crane. Thank God you got over that, right? What's the back for, Louise? Where are you going? Oh, uh, I'm moving in with Sheridan. What? Well, when did this happen? That's not what you think. Been assigned to her by the FBI. Assigned? As her bodyguard. And I'm putting in for hazardous duty pay, believe me. If I'm gonna be with her 24-7, I'm getting more out of it than a slap across the face, you know? Maybe spending time No, together. Teresa. We'll help you work out the problems. Teresa, no. And you can, you can get back together Teresa, again. Teresa, you're not listening to me. It's not what you think. As usual. I didn't ask for this. I've been ordered to do it. Ordered to babysit the most stubborn, self-involved woman that I... You don't need to hear this. Look, anyway, I gotta go, okay? And listen. When this whole thing with Sheridan's over, I want to meet this guy you got a crush on. Because I don't want anyone kissing my sister that I haven't checked out personally, okay? Good luck, Louise. Thanks. Oh, hey, back with the ice cream. That's exactly what I need right about now. I hope they were not a cookie dough. 
Sorry, I didn't bring cookies or dough or anything else to eat. So I figured the deal was you'd provide the food. 